There you are, Tuck. Kaito-san, you're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hashki. I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafia last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed... happy. Probably because you came to the rescue. Yagami-san. Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. Toru Hashiki. Former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took that long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hashki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hashki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hashki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean... That's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys, that could totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? I admit it would make sense, but we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but, uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <laughs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure. Let's do it. Let's hit it.
Looks like we got some company. Mm hmm. Hold on. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, doesn't look like they want to talk it over. gotta do now is meet up with Ayabe's boy. Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. Welcome. <laughs> Stuff. Back to it. Arigatouzaimashita. Um, excuse me, sir. Hmm? Talking to me? Sit. Seat next to me. Hurry. Hmm? Do I know you or this is no time for jokes. I'm not? Can you please? Now, are you okay doing this here? Or would you rather go somewhere a little quieter? Well, can we slow down for a second? No, we can't. Let's get this over with. Yeah, but doing it right here? Uh, sorry? All right, listen, you're very pretty, and you clearly know what you're about, but I'm more of a take-it-slow kind of guy, you know? I don't like to rush into these things. Yakumi-kun, can you seriously not tell it's me? Wait, the... who? What the heck? 
off of you? I hate to break it to you, but when a woman comes on that strong, she's not after what you think she is. Right. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? I'm here on behalf of Ayabe. Wait, but... really? Why did Ayabe send you? He gave me a call this morning out of the blue. Said he needed me to help you in his stead. Here's the investigation report on Hoshki's murder. This is what you want, right? You took it from the prosecutor's office? Isn't that, you know, problematic? Hence the disguise. Think it's okay to hand it over here? This is really intense. All right, try to stay calm. It's okay. Think of it as a thank you for saving me yesterday. One more thing. Regarding Prosecutor Izumida. Hmm? They're planning to arrest you. Under suspicion of murdering Shintani-sensei. I suggest you figure something out quick. Will do. Thanks. Bye then. Who was that? She was smoking. That was Ayabe's replacement. Huh? What do we got here? This is the investigation report from Hoshki's murder. Mafuyu stole it from the prosecutor's office. Mafuyu-chan? Are you saying that woman was her? Yeah, I just made the same mistake. You should check this stuff out, Tom. This is Hashiki's resume. 
Looks like he was pretty well educated. They brought him on as vice director four years ago. Meaning, he was already with the ADDC when you were busting your ass defending Okubo. Seems like he and Kido were responsible for deciding how much money to give each project. Hashiki had more influence than I realized. This here is a map of the crime scene. Hashiki was found lying here. An hour before that, he was seen drinking in a cabaret. This one, a place called the Queen Rouge. They charge an arm and a leg, but hell if they don't make bank off it. Was Hashiki drinking alone while he was there? Nah, looks like one of his colleagues is with him. Wait, it was that guy, Shono. So the two of them came all the way from the center just to grab a few drinks. The question is, why? Beats me. After they left the club, Shono grabbed a cab by himself. He claims he went back to the center and had a chat with Kido. The taxi company's records back that up. Meaning Shono has an alibi. Kido too. Yep. As for Hashki, he had an argument with a man in a black raincoat. Then they found him on the ground. Shit beat out of him. Three weeks later, he was dead. That's horrible. The cause of death was a cerebral contusion due to blunt trauma. The culprit hit him 14, maybe 15 times. No fingerprints, so he must have been wearing gloves. All right. I think we understand how it all went down. So, what's our next move? I want to take a little field trip. See for ourselves where they found Hushki. The Queen Rouge is right near there, too. ありがとうございました。
this. We're doing this. Stay down. Let's hit it. Kaito-san, mind playing the part of Hashki? Guess not. He was round here, yeah? How's this? Wow, you look so lifeless. You could get a job doing this. Oh, shut up. Okay, so, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat. After which he was found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street. Meaning Hashki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hashki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a hunch. Big Mr. Detective. Anyway, I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. Yeah, you're right. We're talking about, you know? What a waste. Let's roll, Tom. Stuffy, honest scientists come to places like this. Hashki wasn't exactly honest. Or a scientist. I was on Kajihira's payroll, remember? 
Looks like they're not open yet. Hope someone's in there. Keep up, huh? Hello? Is anyone here? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Oh, uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hushki, son. Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. You know Hashiki-san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. We're private investigators. Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant, man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashiki-san. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt down a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. Huh. In that case, how about her? Sorry, son. She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafia you did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? That photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. Seriously? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please, bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. I think we can manage that. Come on, Tuck. Uh. I'll be waiting! Well, looks like we're sending salary sign in there. It's the quickest way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? This is all you, buddy. It was your idea, jackass.
How's it going, Yagamishi? There's something I need help finding. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh yeah, guys still do it and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. That's hundreds of hits too many. Can't do a lot with results like that. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Incredible! You narrowed it down to one result! Really? Nice! Yagamishi. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. Uh, that sort of worked, but not well enough. Your girl- Nah, she's not too picky. Uh, how about we try something else then? Nope. Barely made a dent. It's the only damn flavor anyone makes. What? Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I mean, she can't have had a dessert from a store that just opened. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah, let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takamitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Sukumo. Thanks again. I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Stay down. This again? <laughs> Give up, do you? And 
stay down. Everyone raves about this place online. We're so lucky they opened a branch here in Kamrocho. Some kind of famous sweet shop, huh? No line, though. Guess they're sold out. Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you gotta follow the rules. I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents! This is about knowing your place! Uh, you don't mean, uh, uh protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. Hey, uh, 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 well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? We'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, uh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? That was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Ah, oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, uh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, uh, I should be going. Thank you again, sir.
Hmm? Genda Sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to Sorry san real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. Hey there, Yagami san. Take a seat. Genda sensei wants to speak to you. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off. But you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone... I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone, too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> Not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Kamurocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Saurisan. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, Sarisan. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at saori san huh? No, it's not that. It's she's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? 
talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori-san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, Saori-san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamurocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See? I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah. But I'm kinda afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Yagami-san. The go-to place for Saori-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. Thank you. 
How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sorry, son. You've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes. We were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right. I remember now. Mafuyu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafi was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality.